Roblox Doors is currently one of the top games within the Roblox platform, with the game offering many types of horror experiences and also challenges in order to go through to be able to successfully beat the game. But you know, the game wasn't always like this from the beginning. We'll be talking about what Roblox Doors looked like way before development and also the origin based on how the game was created and also why. This is the origin of Roblox Doors and what inspired to create this magnificent game. As with many games on Roblox, it generally has to start with a developer or a group of developers in order to make an idea come alive. The group behind the development of Roblox Doors is known as L Splash, and they are headed by two main developers. Lightning Splash, the founder of the group, and also Redables QW, the second hand man right behind. The two developers have had experiences creating Roblox games, their most popular together being Ragdoll Universe, which boasts over 31 million visits currently but they were not satisfied with the success of the game and decided to take a shot at creating something new. In the meantime, while brainstorming, the developers have noted and enjoyed a specific game on Steam that I'm sure most of you have probably played. Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. And well, the trailer of the game says it all. Do you think you have what it takes to brave the terrors and writhing shadows that await you? Or will you fail in your journey through the abyss of my manor? Only you can find out. Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion was an indie game that came out on July 28th, 2015 and is considered to be the predecessor to Roblox Doors. Instead of 100 rooms in order to go through the Hotel Asylum, you had to go through over 1,000 rooms in the mansion and that is a lot of rooms to discover. Of course, there are monsters and traps that are waiting for you just like in Doors and ultimately, it was how the developers ended up getting their inspiration for creating their new game on the entity side of things. Another major game that was created after was called Rooms by Nico Rocks 5555 and many say that this was the game that inspired the developers as you have to go through many rooms within the game and simply don't let whatever the game mentions catch you. Very simple game, but of course, it had potential to be an amazing one. And as Redables responded, the main inspiration for the game came from Nico's rooms as they found it fun, but was disappointed that there was no progressional mechanic and there was only two monsters. And while the game did amass over 6 million visits, it goes to say that the main mechanic of the game still works like a charm. Finally, with a reference to back up the new plan on this new game, work began to pile up during the summer of 2021 in order to bring up concepts in a bare bones plan to make this game possible. And on July 15th, 2021, Red had posted the game's first major reference, which included this screenshot of both the developers sitting in the lobby right on the chairs in front of the fireplace. He also captions his picture as, can I tell you a story? Which leads to a teaser for the game. Overall, the development for the game wasn't super popular as it was still new and a relatively unknown project, but that will soon change. More and more pre-release footage was slowly being put out, such as this strange barricade being shown with a hanging chandelier and a carpeted floor just a couple days after the story time teaser was shown. And also our first look at the earliest version of the courtyard showing trees and an intense rainstorm going on just a couple days after that as well. But suddenly, development slowed down as the developers went undercover without many updates on their work. 
It wasn't until October 16th, 2021, when we found the next set of footages regarding the creation of their next hit game. This first one, featuring a well-built suitcase model laying on the floor, and also a couple photos of Red 3D modeling ink and quill on the desk with some tables, presumably to be used for doors based on the same carpet structure and style. It was during this time where we started to see very old versions of the monsters and entities that would be used in this game, just like within the Spookies Jump Scare Mansion and their entities as well. Some of the earliest entities in the works did include Figure, which featured the strange T-posed version of him with two holes in the head, hinting that he was going to have eyes originally. Though closer to release, they did decide to remodel him by adding in the iconic sharp toothed mouth that we all know. Rush was also going to have a completely different style as its origin contained a giant smile and two eyes. But things did change with that in his current appearance, though you can see the similarities if placed side by side. You also can't forget about Ambush's original design as he was going to be pink with a strange looking tail attached underneath and a different mouth style as well which was more pronounced than in his current one. Eyes was not much different while this placeholder of an unused model was used during development which shows what eyes would have looked like back then compared yeah. to his 37 eyes right now. And of course, the pre-release model of Seek also looked very different and possibly even scarier than in his current version, featuring a more droopy appearance than he is currently. Fast forward during the winter and spring months, nothing was posted on the project once again as things appear to be back in the works and after several long grueling months, on July 16th, 2022 was the day for the major announcement. The game's first trailer was released showcasing room 13 and the entity Rush trying to capture the players behind and successfully doing so. The game was projected to be done around July and August, but this was the first video examples on the game which created a lot of excitement within the community. It was also during this time, beta testing was open for the workers on the game as they had an early prototype version of what the hotel looked like earlier in the year featuring the iconic red carpet and a different styled roof. But after weeks of testing and fixing for bugs, Roblox Doors was officially released on August 10th, 2022, along with an extended trailer that features more of the game such as the vents, the seek chase, and also the courtyard as well. Going back in time at its release date, we can see that the game had a strong initial release with around 3,000 players playing it, which was really good for an initial start, and with more and more features being added throughout the months, this leads to what the game is known while currently waiting for the floor to update and the next chapter. It's also amazing to see the games that inspired doors, such as the Spooky Mansion, paying respects to the release by adding in Seek Eyes as Easter eggs in the later levels, and moods overall in the surrounding communities seem to be at an all-time high. Now it's time to look forward to the next chapter of Roblox Doors and see what the future holds for it as well.